Alright, this video is for showing people um, a pretty good idea of how to actually get your tabards into the game. Since I don't seem to find any other info about this, so I'll make a video. Um, this would be the uh, latest uh, mod loader from ago. Uh, the awesome person that makes this wonderful ability to have everything in the game without actually doing it all yourself. Um, just have to have that installed and it does it all for you. So, um, basically if you want to get ta uh, tabards into your server, um, here is an example that he uploaded. Um, it uh, replaces the default freedom tabard with a custom tabard, which is actually just a Horde of the Summoned. Um, it's not actually custom, but it's just another kingdom. Um, just download that. Um, I already have it downloaded and edited to suit my needs. Um, what you get in there is this. You get a text file, which is actually uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, you get this. There we go. That was one full one file, and uh, you get a mappings and a and a folder called players. Uh, the mappings basically says that the armor XML is going to be in the player folder and in a file called armor XL. So you go in there, and there it is. And here is where you tell the game all the info about the tabards. <coughs> Basically, that's all you need for one tabard right there. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it, oh, hold on. Right there. Um, it, that's not, um, it just references, like, in the actual code, um, it says model clothing tabard cotton, normally for just like the default one and with this mod it will uh, uh, enable you to tap into every other kingdom tabard that you have so basically all you gotta do is just make sure that it looks just like that and as long as you have a mod or whatever that adds a new tabard into the code like a new item um, whatever you name it, just put it here. You know, like there's the JK one, there's the king, uh, the player made kingdom JK, uh, Dreadnought, the Pandemonium one, uh, the Crusader one, uh, the Roman Empire, here's the Horde of the Summon one, um, I mean, it, it's pretty easy. You just replace, you know, normally replace the uh, HOTS one, but just add whatever one you want into the code, and this one, you know, this will replace it for you. Or, you know, add whatever new ones you want, and just put your textures in here. It's kind of a pain, you gotta save four different files for each one, uh, the upper and, upper and lower tabard sections. But, uh, yeah, I mean... That's basically all you gotta do. I mean, I have my custom ones here, uh, like here, here, but all the rest of them are just the default kingdom ones. It's really not that hard to do. You just gotta make sure you get the XML file right. That's it. 